All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, got the welder set up, just my MIG, because I didn't feel like putting all my TIG crap on. Um, anyway, I cut the metal, like I said. Just make sure you wear ear, ear protection. Um, especially if you work for a company that monitors your hearing. Um, basically, with the railroad, they monitor your hearing. Every year you go for a hearing test. And if your hearing has fallen and uh, you don't seek basically compensation, I guess you could say, or medical attention, um, they can track how far it decreases. And then by the time you go deaf, uh, it's past three years of uh, statute of limitations. I don't know. We had a lawyer come up and talk to us all about it anyway. He basically said, um, if you see a decrease, if they send you a letter saying there's a decrease in your hearing, you got to file, file for a lawsuit. Not really a lawsuit, but a, I guess a, something legal that states that your hearing has decreased because of your job. This way it protects you throughout your whole career. Um, this way, if some some reason you do go deaf, um, it's recorded. For work um, but anyway so yeah wear your hearing hearing protection earplugs earmuffs whatever you want um, I'm wearing those when I'm cutting and grinding so as you can see I already welded this box um, it's 30 inch by 30 inch uh, I just welded it <clears throat> welded it here and made it flat because I'll be putting the wheels, whatever wheels I get, I'll be putting them on the corners and probably welding them so I want a flat surface. Um, anyway, you just I just welded it. Grounded on both sides because you know me. If you guys do know me, I get into a rush and I will just start, I will just slap it together and I'll forget that uh, one side's flat and one side's not. So I just get rid of all the guesswork and flattened it all so and I welded it all the way around top this side inside that was hot by the way anyway so now I'm gonna take the engine with the engine lift lift the engine up set the engine well not set it in there but basically hover it to where it stops spinning wherever it stops spinning I'm gonna set it up um, I'm gonna put the other motor mount that's on my trash can right over here. Set the other motor mount in here and then uh, and then yeah build uh, make some supports to hold the engine. So I'm sure I'll need three points. Um, I'm kind of thinking you know obviously the one here and the one the other side and uh, I don't know if I'll do something in the back. Uh, mount something to the back, like maybe here, that goes down, you know, down this way to it, just for some support. I don't know if there's anything on the other side. Yeah, there's the same on the other side. So maybe I'll have two coming off there and two coming off over there. Um, this way it has some some support. Uh, but anyway. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get a chain or a strap, lift this motor up, and, uh, yeah, go from there. So, this might be a long video. So, hang in there, guys. Be right back. All right, guys. Sorry I can't show you guys all the welding and all the other junk because it's, it's just a big, tedious process. But anyway, got the engine off the stand. Got the motor mount on here um anyway so started welding you saw I welded that little box thingy measure here and uh, this is what I got so this whole piece will go onto the back the bell housing tranny area bolts through the bell housing whatever the adapter will sit right here motor mount motor mount Oh, they're offset. Anyway, 
Got it all welded, got it all in there. So I'm gonna paint it real quick. Um, just gonna paint it black and uh, see how it works. And then uh, gotta put this motor in here. I'll probably have to take a shower and blow out about four pounds of metal grinding. My kid came out and said, I thought you were a welder. I didn't know you were a grinder. Anyway, I just wanted to make the the welds flat. He thinks he's all cool because he's been welding at work. But anyway, so there's my welds not grinded punk kid. And there's that weld because it's got blow through right there. Whoopie do. Anyway, um, yeah, so when you have welds that you can grind through and it's no lines, no cracks, that one's got a little bit of a crack, but it's not a crack, it's just the pros, I don't know what it's called, porosity. Anyway, because I'm using flux, I use always use flux core wire because I'm always welding outside and it's always windy, yada yada. Anyway, let me get it all painted. Let me get this motor slapped on there, and then uh, do a little walk around. I'll be back. Morning guys, it is the next day. I went to the SWAT meet, and uh, ended up picking up a couple tools. I ended up buying a real deep one inch socket for a sensor. I'll show you the Sensor is way back in here. I don't know if you can see that or not. Lighten it up. Yeah, that sensor. It's really deep, so uh, yeah. And I bought some caster wheels. <laughs> uh, it looks like I'm going back to the drawing board on these caster wheels. Yeah, I'll show you real quick. Draw <laughs> this picture. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> mm, the weight of these things just buckled these things, sheared them right off. That's funny. Anyway, back to the drawing, drawling board. Ugh. As you can see, they're just cramped, I guess. Oh, sorry, that's way too close. Anyway, they're just a crimp thing, like a rivet. Anyway, so bought them at the swap meet, thinking that they were well, they're probably the same as Harbor Freight Harbor Freight wheels, which they are the same. Anyway, so yeah, so I didn't weld them on. But, man, this engine's heavy. So, I'm gonna have to set this back up here. Take all these off. And, maybe go to Harbor Freight. Saying this motor is really heavy. It wants to teeter the the lift anyway because I don't have it centered so oh, boy. anyway let me get this thing back on here and set it down yeah so watch who and where you buy stuff from I guess I'm just trying to get it on here. Don't do that. So basically how they broke was I went to I went to roll it, you know. Went to roll it and the whole thing just was done. It was like nope. Anyway, but anyway, so this is the lift or the stand that I made. I don't even know if I showed it yesterday or not. 
So I got this one going into the back of there with a the bolt. Um, yeah. Good thing the guy only charged me two uh, two fifty a piece. So now I got a bunch of bearings that I could use to make some people slip and fall. All right, so that's gonna be it for this whole build build series of this cart. So yeah, yay. Another fail. So, lesson learned. Should have just went to Harbor Freight and bought some good, uh, some good uh, wheels. I don't even know if they're good wheels because the wheels, like I said, that are on here, that are on those, they suck. So, anyway, whatever. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for this video. For that, thanks for watching. Subscribe. Do what you guys do. Thank you, guys. Later.